is just my opinion of something that I want to get off my chest and uh, say and get it and get it done. OK, uh, so for for many, many years now, for, for God, 20 some odd years now here at the radio station, there's a certain way that we do promotions. And that is, let's say uh, Jim Phillips is into shooting, uh, you know, like, like uh, clays and stuff like that. And then we do a big promotion about it because there's a guy on the air that's really excited about it that does it. And man, it was so much fun. The celebrity shoot. What a blast. It was it, so much fun. And then you got like the poker tournament. Jimmy's into poker. Jim Phillips is into poker. A lot of people you're into poker. So that was kind of a fun thing to do. Uh, uh, other events that we've done all together, or even like a well, like uh, let's say when we all got together and did the Christmas Carol, that was a cool thing because it was raising money for Christmas for the mustard seed, and um, we all got to do a little stuff on stage. That was great. I, you haven't heard me say a lot about pickleball because since the inception of it, I was like, I don't, like, who cares about pickleball? Like, I don't, I don't understand who. Nobody on the radio station plays pickleball. There's no one really excited about pickleball. They just, somebody heard that they had a big pickleball tournament in, in Tampa and it was a big deal. And I'm like, okay, well, th there's nobody on the air that really likes pickleball. I don't, I don't get it. So I'm trying to get to, I'm trying to, you know, I'm like, okay, I can't fake something that I'm not into. I, it's just not me. Uh, anytime you hear me talking about something, it's because I'm really into it. You know, it's, it's, we all are into it or I'll be into it because I'm like, well, Jim Phillips thinks this is cool. Let's go. Let's give it a shot or whatever. The pickleball thing, I just haven't been, I'm just not connected with it. That's what I'm trying, because you know, this is our job to, to do that, right? So I'm going, and I kind of watch pickleball. I'm like, okay, still not feeling it, still not going there. Okay. And then I heard that uh, Jack and I think uh, Jim and Moira, they all went to go you know, to the pickleball tournament or pickleball practice yesterday. So I turn on to listen to it, and I'm hearing, <laughs> I'm hearing Jim and Moira explain pickleball, and now I'm even more confused than I was before, because it's like, I don't understand it, I don't get it. And then I had an epiphany. And then I had a reason why I want to be excited about pickleball. And I almost, and I know you're going to laugh at me, I almost started to cry. And I'll tell you why. One of the problems I think I've had with this is, is that this is the final time that you're going to see or in, be in witness of the entire radio station that I love, Real Radio 104.1, the last time you're going to see us all together as a group. This is the last time Dirty Jim is going to be Dirty Jim with the monsters. This is the last time Jim Phillips, who, who is the heart and soul of this station, the last time you're going to see him at a promotion with all of Real Radio. The last time this entire cast that I know one thing we might not all have in common is we might not all love Pickleball. Something we all have in common that listen to this radio station, Real Radio 104.1, the best FM talk station to ever live in this country, and you can check out all the numbers and figure it out. This is the greatest radio station that's ever lived. It's FM talk radio. It, it, it's the end of an era comes next Saturday. Come next Saturday is the last time you'll see Moira with us. This is the last time you'll see Jim Phillips at a real radio event. The last time you're going to see Dirty Jim as part of the Monsters as Dirty Jim. He won't be called Dirty Jim anymore. The last time, a last time for a lot of stuff. So the reason I'm going to be excited and the reason I can now tell my friends, my friends were like, why do I want to go to Pickleball? Here's why you want to go to Pickleball next Saturday. Because it's the end of an era. And, it, and it's a time that the real radio is going to get together. And these, those times are always classic. Those times are always time to remember. This is a time that you can take a photo with the people that you love, with the radio station that you love, because this is the radio station I love. And you know what? As much as we disagree, this is the radio station Dirty Jim loves, and Savannah, and Carlos, and Angel, and, and Jim Phillips, and all the people that you can count on every freaking day for the past 20 some odd years to turn on this. You can turn, you know, when you turn on at three, it's showtime, and you know, and you know what you're gonna hear, and you're gonna hear Jim Phillips raising hell. And you know what? It makes me a little bit, a little bit sad. But now I'm excited for pickleball next Saturday. So if you, and, and, and how beautiful it is that the pickleball we're doing next Saturday, we're raising money for who? The mustard seed, the the key that's been through this station because of Jim Phillips for all of these years. That we've always raised money for the mustard seed for great events. So okay, I wasn't thrilled about pickleball. That's the honesty of it all. I can like I haven't said anything about it because I'm like I don't really care about pickleball. But you know what I care about? We're gonna go out. And we'll do some sport. We don't know what we're doing, but we're going to take pictures with people and we're going to be with the radio station for one really last time. It's going to be a snapshot in time, people. It's the last time the radio station you've loved for all these years, the guy who, you know, the, the Commodore, the guy that's been the heart and soul of this radio station. This is, there are no other scheduled events for us all to be together under one building ever again. Next Saturday is it. So get your, you know, I, I would appoint, get, you've loved this radio station and you don't mind giving $20. You don't have to like pickleball. 
okay? If you're helping the mustard seed, taking photos with people that you've heard forever. I mean, uh, Jim Phillips and Moira, I, I don't know what Pinkman's doing after this. Uh, you know, Jimmy's not going to be with us anymore. There'll, there'll be some new people there. It's the last time you're going to see real radio all together to take a photo, to be a part of something that will be real radio history. Uh, so I know that we all love uh, this radio station. I know that this radio station means a lot to us, and I don't want to see the last promotion that we do be a, you know, like when no one show up. I want people to show up to support a the station and to get that photo for one last time, and we'll have fun playing pickle. I'm going to call it slam ball. Whatever. When I, from what I understand, if the ball comes my way, I just slam it really hard, and I should be, <laughs> so brr, it's slam ball to me. I uh, don't care if I win or lose. I'm going to play and have fun, but we're all going to be together for the final time. That struck me. I, yeah, I was, you know what? I, I, I was looking for the inspiration. I had none. I was not really. No, you didn't. Because nobody on the station plays pickleball. Nobody. This was a made up because they, I they, they still don't know what it they is. They heard another in the station in Tampa was successful, but that's not the that's not the recipe, guys. The recipe is supposed to be someone here, or either this show or the or the Phillips file or the new Shunky. Someone's excited about it, and then we make a thing out of it. This was just like, hey, you guys make a thing out of it, and I really couldn't do it until I heard, and then I was listening to Jim and Moira talk, and I'm like, man, this is the last time that we're all going to be together. This is the last. This is the the last thing, man. This is like a, a moment in time, a snapshot, and and as silly as it might sound to you guys, even for me, I was like, man, you know, the last time Dirty Jim's gonna be part of the show, that we'll all take a photo together, you know. It, it, everything's gonna be different after the first of the year. So uh, I say, if you love real radio, you don't mind giving twenty dollars to the mustard seed and 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 and, and just you know, going out there and trying something you've never tried before. Most people don't know what pickleball is, uh, but if you don't mind trying something new, hell, donate the money, come take a photo, and you don't even have to play. I don't care, but but. Make, be a part of it next Saturday. I think it's a great thing, and that's my rant. Will yeah. there? I'm sorry. Will well, there be tickle? Will will <laughs> there be pickles on site? Pickles have they, nothing to do with pickleball. Excellent question out of that rant. Yeah, <laughs> they, emotional I mean, rant. I, mean, I think everybody I, was wondering that after Russ poured his heart out. Will there be pickles on site? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I respect I mean, that. Well, wait a minute, so there's no pickles? Yeah. <laughs> there are no pickles. No, in pickles. Russ, that I, I kept tell me you, an angel out. Sure, I was a little worried you were about to say something really stupid on here. Uh, but I really <laughs> uh, respect uh, the way you rethought that. Because yeah. I know, we've talked about it. You weren't super excited about it. But I'm glad you're, you're seeing this because I didn't. I, I had didn't, to get the right inspiration. Totally and, and as I heard Jim and Moira talk about yeah. it yesterday uh, and Jack, I was like, man, Think about this. I, no, never you're right. again. You're absolutely well, right. We all get together, and I'm going to listen to see what Jim Phillips thinks about an event we all did. This will, this is it. There are no other scheduled events nope. for the entire radio station to wow. get together. So if you love real radio and you have loved real radio, and you, and you know, like you can count on us every day. You know, at six o'clock, I'm going to be here. You and you usually think at three o'clock, it's going to be Jim Phillips. That's all changing. And 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 I would just say, Go be a changing. part of something that is going to be real radio history next uh, week. Whether it's pickleball or we turn it into, to, uh, I don't know, like a, a tic tac toe or whatever. It doesn't matter what we're doing, really. It's a thing that we're all going to get together for one last final time. Exactly. Man, you like made me t- like kind of choke up there, bro. Really. I almost cried yesterday when I thought about it because yeah. I, I was I was kind of indignant about it. Like, why are they making us do something no one's excited you are, about? You're very and indignant. then I heard it. I'm like, man, this is it, man. This is like this is like the celebrity you had a shoot. Hallmark moment. I didn't know I didn't know anything about the celebrity shoot before we did it, but I knew Jim Phillips was excited about it, so I was willing to go do it. You know, right. and it was a lot of fun. Uh, there are other things that we've all done. Well, very few things that we do together as a radio station. I know the radio station got together with us for Miss Monsters, which was awesome. Uh, and I know the bowling tournament we all Christmas got together. Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol. That's another thing when I think about the entire station getting together. Christmas Carol is, is one. But I, And I start thinking, man, all, what's, what's the thread through all of this? Th- from the beginning of this, uh, uh, this radio station, which I love and I know we all love, is Jim Phillips, you know? And this is this is his last promotion with all of us. So I just would say that uh, if you love this station, come by next Saturday. Uh, if you, uh, I'm having people tell me I don't know how to play. It don't matter, man. Just come out there, grab a you know, grab a paddle, hit around a couple times, take photos with us, and 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 help us raise money for a great great cause. Yes, Angel. Look, if you want to learn how to play, or if you want to get an idea of it, you can go to uh, Monsters.fm or Real Radio 104.1 or yeah, TKS.fm uh, and. Uh, 
uh, slash pickleball. We've got the place, uh, click now to enter and, and get onto a team. And at the bottom of the page, there's also two videos that kind of show you and explain what uh, the pickleball is. And we have yeah. the video of the file uh, playing pickleball yesterday. And not for nothing, not, I mean, I know you're getting sentimental and all, and all about this and everything, but this is the other part of it that was kind of irritating to me. What's that, Angel? Uh, uh, so apparently Jim and the guys thought they're, they're talking trash and thinking that they're, they're going to go in and blow everybody out on this because they went and practiced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not one of them are athletically inclined to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> but they want to talk trash behind that. Oh, the uh, word was that they think Angel's too big to be on the pickleball court. Yeah. Mm. Listen, it is going to be my charge <laughs> to beat everyone on the file. All I know is you slam ball. You that's said, it. You see ball, slam it. That's, that's all. That's all. I'm I, slamming. Ball slash. <laughs> slam ball. <laughs> You're just going to slam the ball. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know With why. With paddles they, or our hands? It's a paddle, paddle and it's a wiffle ball. And I don't know why they call it pickleball. And I tried to understand the way they score. It made no sense. And then I thought, well, maybe uh, I listened to Moira try to explain it yesterday and I'm like now I really don't know what the hell. <laughs> Savannah, and, and, did you ever? But play then I realize it doesn't matter about the game. The game is not, the, nobody cares about the game at this radio station. I care about the pickles. I know you do. Uh, but, We're not going to have any there. <laughs> so. but, uh, the but the one thing we all have in common, common denominator. That's when, when I, you know, when I promote something, I don't want to, you know. I'm pretty good at promoting things. A lot of things I'm not good at. Promoting things is pretty much uh, I'm, I'm pretty well at. And what you think about is what is the common denominator with everybody? And I and it hit me. The common denominator is not the stupid game. That, you know, it's not pickleball. The common denominator is we all love this radio station, and this is the last time we're all going to get together. That's the draw. That's what you should be promoting, not trying to <laughs> talk people in to some game they don't know. And, and if you don't have any friends that play, it's like it's, it's, a, it's like pulling teeth to talk any of my friends to come for free. You know, but, but when you say, listen, this is a moment in history. This is you know a, an era come to an end, and you can be a part of it next Saturday – I, that's uh, I mean, if that doesn't make you want to come and support it and support the mustard seed and come take photos, nothing would. Yeah, that's a crazy way to frame that because when you say it like that, that makes me want to go. That's why right. I said that's, that ama- that's and that's that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, like I, grown up listening to the station, like literally as a baby in the back of my grandma's <laughs> car, listening to the station the whole time. Jim Phillips has been a part of my life exactly w- for the whole time. He he's leading. That's that's. He'll, it'll never be the same again after next Saturday. So I would say join us next Saturday. Uh, it, it's 20 bucks. It goes to a great cause. It's the last time this radio station gets together. And now when I, I'll be I'll be promoting pickleball like I should. Jack has asked me 50 times, how come you're not talking about pickleball? I don't really care. Now I care. Now I want to be a part of it. Well, it's the last time the radio station is getting together. I care about the event. I care about everyone getting together for one last time, and and really, it's a it's a way for Orlando to kind of show their support and their love for this radio station, which has been here for you uh, day in day out for you know a couple decades. Yes, Angel. Uh, so Savannah's uh, concerned about the pickles. There's a lot of dudes texting in, <laughs> offering to bring a, a pickle for you at the event. Should it's going to be a yes? different looking pickle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Savannah, I will tell you, I, I looked for why Why do they call it pickleball. I tried to figure that out. Does, any, does anyone know why they call it that? No idea. No idea. Because no, no, everybody no. who plays it has been pickled. Oh, good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. I just, I just don't think it's a good recipe. Like, hey, listen, we heard it worked in another market, so you guys just do what they do. Even though, but I found out talking to uh, people who... Who are in that market? Yeah, there's like three guys on the air that already play, so they were super excited about it. So that you know, that's how it translates. And I'm like, oh yeah, I figured that had to do with it. You can't just say we're all going to be excited about tiddlywinks and let's you know, you guys promote. It. That's not the way it Don't works. You dare say a negative word about tiddlywinks, tiddlywinks. Rollins. <laughs> but everyone getting together, everybody being. Uh, and now I'm in. Now, now I wanted. You know, I'm, I'm excited about it. I hope you will too. It's only twenty bucks. It goes to the mustard seed. It's the last time the radio station will be together as one. It's the end of an era, really. And, uh, what I are we gonna? Are, are we gonna take a picture? We should make like a pyramid, like cheerleaders do, and put Jim Phillips on the top of the pyramid. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> do me a favor, invite me to that conversation. <laughs> it'll be like it'll be like real radios. Bring it on. You know, I can hold him up though. On my, I can put him on my shoulders if I get up there, and then we'll do, yeah, we can do that. Big yeah. pyramid. Yeah. You, After that, yeah, I think we should do that. Make a big real radio pyramid. It's a thought. That, that, that could work. I, I think it's a good idea. Carlos, you don't think it's a good idea? I just want to be at the top. Yeah, you don't get to be at the top, though. Well, I'm mid, mid to the top. That's I just, just, just be, good branding is what that is. Just exactly. Yeah. And just don't want to be at the bottom. All right. <laughs> I, 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 when, when we come back, Dirty Jim's going to tell you where you're at. You're listening to the Monster.